Hello guys, what's up? And welcome again to another math tutorial. This is your math tutor, Sir EJ. And in today's topic, we will be discussing the remainder and factor theorem. So let's have first the remainder theorem. If the polynomial p of x divided by x minus r, then the remainder r is a constant n is equal to p of r. So the remainder is equal to p of r. Thus, there are two ways to find the remainder when p of x is divided by x minus r. That is, the first one using synthetic division, or the second one is to calculate the value of p of r. So let's have our first example. Find the remainder of 6x to the second power minus 2x plus 1 divided by x plus 2. So the first step is we need to use the remainder theorem. So let us get the value of our divisor which is x plus 2 and let us equate it by 0. So we have x plus 2 is equal to 0. Then x will be equal to negative 2. And then after that we will substitute the value of x which is equal to negative 2 with our dividend. So we have p of negative 2 equals 6 times x which is negative 2 to the second power minus 2 times negative 2 plus 1. And then we will simplify. Bring down p of negative 2 equals 6 and then negative 2 times negative 2 will be equal to positive 4. And then negative 2 times negative 2 will be equal to positive 4 plus 1. And then bring down p of negative 2 equals 6 times 4 which is equal to 24. Bring down 4 and bring down 1. So we have 24 plus 4 plus 1 is equal to 29. So p of negative 2 is equal to 29. So this will be the value of our remainder. Now, the other method is to use synthetic division to get the remainder. So we have negative 2 as our dividend. So using the same step in the remainder theorem, we will equate the divisor by 0. So we have x plus 2 is equal to 0, then x will be equal to negative 2. And then we will get the numerical coefficient of the dividends. So we have the numerical coefficient of the quadratic term, which is equal to 6. The numerical coefficient of the linear term, which is equal to negative 2 and the numerical coefficient of the constant term, which is equal to 1. And then after that, we will draw a line here, and then bring down 6. 6 times negative 2 will be equal to negative 12, and then we will add negative 2 plus negative 12 will be equal to negative 14. And then negative 14 times negative 2 is equal to positive 28. And then again, add 1 plus 28 will be equal to 29. So the value of the remainder is the last term on our quotient. So that is 29. Thus, the remainder of p of x is equal to 6x to the second power minus 2x plus 1 divided by x plus 2 is equal to 29. So let's have our second example. Find the remainder of x to the fourth power minus 3x to the second power plus 2 divided by x minus 4. So we will use remainder theorem. We will equate the value of our divisor by 0. So we have x minus 4 is equal to 0 and then x will be equal to 4. And then we will substitute the value of x which is equal to 4 to our dividend. So we have p of x is equal to x to the fourth power minus 3x squared plus 2. So substitute the value of x which is equal to 4. So we have p of 4 is equal to 4 to the fourth power minus 3 times 4 to the second power plus 2. So bring down p of 4 equals 4 to the fourth power. You will multiply 4 4 times by itself. So we have 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 which is equal to 256 minus bring down 3 and then 4 times 4 will be equal to 16 and then plus 2 so bring down p of 4 equals 256 and then negative 3 times 16 will be equal to negative 48 plus 2 
and then 256 minus 48 plus 2 will be equal to 210. So the remainder is equal to 210. Next, let's find the remainder using synthetic division. So we have the divisor which is equal to x minus 4 equated by 0. So we have x is equal to 4. So we will use 4. And then get the numerical coefficient of our dividend. So we have the numerical coefficient of our quartic term is equal to 1. The numerical coefficient of the cubic term is equal to 0. Because the cubic term is missing from our dividend. And then the numerical coefficient of our quadratic term is equal to negative 3. The numerical coefficient of our linear term is equal to 0 because the linear term from our dividend is missing. And then after that, a constant term is equal to 2. And then after that, we will draw a line here. Bring down 1. And then 4 times 1 will be equal to 4. And then 0 plus 4 will be equal to 4. 4 times 4 is 16, and then we will add negative 3 plus 16 will be equal to positive 13, and then 13 times 4 will be equal to 52, and then again add, so 0 plus 52 will be equal to 52, and then again multiply, 52 times 4 will be equal to 208, and then add 2 times 208 will be equal to 210, so the value of the remainder is the last term of our quotient. So the last term here is 210. So this will be the remainder. Therefore, the remainder of P of X is equal to X to the fourth power minus 3X squared plus 2 divided by X minus 4 is equal to 210. So let's have the factor theorem. The polynomial P of X has X minus R as a factor if and only if the remainder is equal to zero. There are two parts of the proof of the factor theorem, namely given a polynomial P of X. Number one, if X minus R is a factor of P of X, then P of R is equal to zero. And then number two, if P of R is equal to zero, then X minus R is a factor of P of X. So let's have an example. Show that x minus 1 is a factor of 3x to the third power minus 8x squared plus 3x plus 2. So to know if x minus 1 is a factor of 3x cubed minus 8x squared plus 3x plus 2, so we need to get the remainder. So the value of the remainder must be equal to 0. So we will use remainder theorem. So we will equate the divisor by 0. So x minus 1 will be equal to 0. And x will be equal to 1. And then we will substitute the value of x to the equation p of x is equal to 3x to the third power minus 8x squared plus 3x plus 2. And then we have p of 1 is equal to 3 times 1 to the third power minus 8 times 1 to the second power plus 3 times 1 plus 2. And then bring down p of 1 equals exponent first, so 1 to the third power is 1, bring down 3, minus 1 to the second power is equal to 1, bring down negative 8, plus 3 times 1 will be equal to 3, and then plus 2. And then bring down p of 1 equals 3 times 1 will be equal to 3, negative 8 times 1 will be equal to negative 8, bring down 3, and bring down 2, and then after that, 3 minus 8 plus 3 plus 2 will be equal to 0. So P of 1 is equal to 0. Thus, the remainder of P of x equals x to the fourth power minus 3x squared plus 2 divided by x minus 1 is equal to 0. Therefore, x minus 1 is a factor of 3x to the third power minus 8x squared plus 3x plus 2. So let's have our last example. Find the value of k for which the binomial x plus 4 is a factor of x to the fourth power plus kx to the third power minus 4x squared. So we have the solution if x plus 4 is a factor of p of x is equal to x to the fourth power 
plus kx to the third power minus 4x squared, we know that from the factor theorem that p of negative 4 is equal to 0 since this is a factor. So we will solve for the value of x. So we will equate the divisor by 0. So x plus 4 will be equal to 0. And then x will be equal to negative 4. And then we will evaluate the dividend. So we have p of x is equal to x to the fourth power plus k x to the third power minus 4x squared. So we will substitute the value of x which is equal to negative 4. So p of negative 4 is equal to negative 4 to the fourth power plus k times negative 4 to the third power minus 4 times negative 4 to the second power. And then after that, bring down p of negative 4 equals negative 4 to the fourth power, meaning to say we will multiply negative 4 4 times by itself. So we have negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4. That is positive 256. And then plus negative 4 to the third power. So negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4 will be negative 64k minus bring down 4. And then negative 4 times negative 4 times equal to positive 16. And then bring down p of negative 4 equals 256 minus 64k. And then negative 4 times 16 will be equal to negative 64. And then we will transpose negative 64k. It will become positive. Equals bring down 256 and then bring down negative 64. And then after this, uh, bring down 64k equals 256 minus 64 will be equal to 192 and then divide both sides by 64 so 64k divided by 64 will be equal to k and then 192 divided by 64 will be equal to 3 and then after you find the value of k which is equal to 3 you will substitute the value of k to our dividend so we have x to the fourth power plus k x cubed minus 4 x squared so k x to the third power will be equal now to 3 x to the third power and then after that we will evaluate the dividend so we have p of negative 4 is equal to negative 4 to the fourth power plus 3 times negative 4 to the third power minus 4 times negative 4 to the second power so bring down p of negative 4 and then again negative 4 to the fourth power is equal to 256 plus 3 negative 4 to the third power will be equal to negative 64 and then negative 4 times negative 4 to the second power will be equal to 16 and then bring down p of negative 4 bring down 256 and now we can now multiply 3 times negative 64 which is equal to negative 192 and then negative 4 times 16 will be equal to negative 64. So bring down P of negative 4, 256 minus 192 minus 64 will be equal to 0. So therefore, the value of K we have compute here is correct because the remainder is equal to 0.